We are at Sonar Festival. Uh, my name's DNS and we're with Barcelona City FM. And I'm here with Jay Lynn. Thanks for joining us today. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> uh, have you just flown in? Yes, I have. Literally flew in, came right into the panel, <laughs> right into the interview, yes. Oh God. So where have you flown in from? Chicago, eight and a half hour flight. It was okay, I slept most of it, so we're all fine. Excellent, <laughs> so you're ready to go? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm ready. So I just want to talk a bit about um, your music, because you've been put into the kind of footwork category. Mm, yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I don't consider myself a footwork artist. That's interesting. So yeah. tell us a bit about you know, your creative process and what you go through when you are making the beats. Um, when usually my creative process is, it's been, I've been making music since the end of 2007. So my creative process is really, it's really feel. I think feeling is most important when I'm creating. And that comes with a lot of experience of like knowing when things are done, when something's incomplete, when I have to go back and change a variation of something. Um, it's really just a matter of you, you you know when something is right and you know when it's not, so you have to go back and kind of change things. So my creative process is different every time I approach a song because every song has its own energy, which I think is really important that every song has a life of its own and not just, oh, Jalen made it, so it has this one particular type of feel to it. So that's the kind of what I try to go for. So what's your favorite piece of kit at the moment? As far as my music? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Probably Will me and William Basinski's Holy Child is probably my favorite piece of work right now. And what about kind of technical? What's your favorite piece of uh, production kit at the moment? What are you using? My kit? Oh, Native Instruments completely loving for sure. <laughs> yeah, Why? that was it. Because um, they have a, literally like a percussion palette that is just for amazing and then the, the other the other instruments that they have as far as i mean just so much complete 11 is so you i feel like you never need another piece of music in you i mean you know as far as like uh instruments and um, for your midi controllers or anything in your life because it's just they have so much um so yeah i'm just really into uh Native complete 11 right now, really heavy, <laughs> for sure. Okay, great. Uh, there is one question I wanted to ask you. Um, can you tell me a bit about your collaboration with um, Avril Stormy Younger? Because I just yeah, watched yeah. the Boiler Room uh, ah. video. So I'm really interested to find out how that come about. Um, that came about because we actually had met back in 2015. And she had stopped dancing for a while because she had gotten diagnosed with arthritis and my album had just come out right around that time. And she started back dancing again. She wrote me and said, yo, I started back dancing because of this album and I just wanted to reach out to you and say, you know, great album. And that's how we started. We just kind of, and we kind of built a friendship off of that on social media and became friends. And then I saw a video one day of her dancing on Facebook and I was like, oh my God, this is, matches exactly what I do perfectly. And so she had this idea, she's like, yo, like we should just perform together. And I was like, yeah. So it was just really spontaneous. And so from that idea of spontaneity, we actually just started doing it. And so like, you know, Unsound was the first um, festival that gave us a chance to pull it off. And that was actually the first time at that festival, the first time we ever saw each other face to face and our first time performing. Wow. So we did everything, it was purely organic and it actually worked out. So we started doing other things together. Like we did another Unsound production and then she went last year on my Asia tour run with me. So we've just been, you know, it's, it's been really good. We also did Boiler Room just recently yeah. in, uh, in India, in Bangalore where she lives now. So it was, it went really well and we had a, you know, we just have a good time and um, you know, everything has its struggles and it's, but we, you know, we, we balance it out and it, you know, make it work. <laughs> Great. So can we expect some more performance art pieces just like that from you? Um, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Um, I probably with uh, Avril and I'm also trying, there's also someone, a person that I won't talk about, but I'm also trying to get, it's a guy trying to get you him sure to you do. sure you can't mention I'm it? sure I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely sure. But, um, I'll say he is from my hometown though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, talking about your hometown, actually, because you're from Indiana. Yeah. From so Indiana, do you yeah. think growing up in Indiana has been an influence on your musical style? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> no. Um, I just feel, I just, because I create from, merely from the core of myself. Mm -hmm. So 
I, I feel like um, I would say growing up in Indiana, the things that I have learned in that environment, possibly, you know, growing up, you know, both of my parents were in the house and, um, you know, my mother was a great example to me for many years, still is. So, you know, I, I've, I had that push or that boost where, you know, I didn't really have a reason to not succeed at something because my mother was always the example in front of me that you can do something. And so um, that is, I, you know, I, I don't, I try to, when I do something, try to exceed as much as I can. Um, but yeah, so I just feel like possibly the environment, but not necessarily the place. Okay, cool. Yeah. So with your kind of style of music, it's not the typical kind of 4-4 four, four to the floor beat. No, no, no. So what's the inspiration to, to sort of make people dance that's not traditionally 4-4? Four, four? It's, it's actually, you know what, it's not even that I'm trying to make a person dance as much as I'm trying to make them feel. Okay. Yeah, because what it is is that, um, because there are, I, I mean, I hate to say this, God, I hope this doesn't come off wrong. <laughs> okay, so a lot of times, have you ever been in a setting, you, you have music that is, it's the same beat for five hours. Yep. And so, you know, it's <laughs> like, so what happens is, and then, you, like, I come in and then I kind of break the monotony of that same five-hour beat. And then they're like, this was amazing. And sometimes I want to go, no, I want to go, no, it's not that it's really that amazing as much as it is that you just listen to the same damn thing for five hours. Exactly. And so then it's I a just, to it's a system. shock to the system is what it was, you know. Not trying to undercut myself, but I'm just simply saying, no, you know, sometimes it's just, we were, I've, I, I'm shocked. I was amazed that you could. I'm. I commend you for sitting there listening to something for five hours. Like that. But, yeah, the same. Four, yeah, four. the same. Yeah, but I mean, and it's fine if you make four four. I'm not knocking you if you do. Please keep making it if that's your thing. Make it or whatever you do, create, please. But no, I'm just saying, just as as an experience of you know, a lot of people. I actually had this happen at Distortion Festival where, where one of the curators came to me and said. Um, he goes, he was like, man, you know, I don't know how you mix all those different rhythms together like that. <laughs> and I said, what do you mean? And he's the curator. Yeah, he's, a, he's, okay. like, yeah he's, like, <laughs> he's like, I don't know how you do it. And um, I was like, he was one, one of them. And I said, I said, yeah, I, just, I was like, you know, I just, it's, it's feeling. It's feeling. It's, it's that going feel. with the vibe. It goes with the, yeah, it's, it's a matter of feel. And that's what I mean. So it's, you know, it's great. It's, so if, if four on the floor is your thing and that's your feel, by all means, go for it. Like, I'm not knocking anyone in any way. I'm just saying, sometimes, like, if, you, if, you, if somebody listens to me just continuously, continuously, and then somebody else who does for breaks it in, breaks in, you know, it's like, oh, wow, this is amazing. It's like, yeah, because you just sit there <laughs> listening to Jalen's boring shit for five hours, like, you know. Like you said, yeah. don't undercut yourself. Don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the, the women at Sonar this year, and what do you think about the female representation on the lineup? Um, I'm going to be honest. I haven't even had a chance to look at the lineup. Like, I literally, that is so bad, I know. <laughs> and um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll let you off. You've just flown in from Chicago. I did. I, I really haven't even had a chance because I'm actually, I'm in the process of composing for a ballet. And so my focus has been that so heavily. Um, so that's why I, my concentration has been, and I'm so sorry, and I apologize to Sonar for not looking at the lineup. <laughs> I am so sorry, Sonar. Please do not disband me from not, you know, doing another yeah, show. Yeah, you've I heard it here first. Jane is not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Officially been banned. <laughs> she didn't look at the lineup. It's over. She's done. <laughs> so one final question, and this is kind of a little funny question that we like to ask everyone. Okay. Your top two tracks to party to. <sighs> When I get ready to go out, there are two tracks that I do listen to all the time. One of them is Holly Herndon's track, Fade. And the second one is a Sade Slave song. Oh, that's a good choice. Yeah. So, okay, those cool. are the, yeah, that's what I listen to. <laughs> okay, so that's been amazing. Thank you so much, Jalen, for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. I'm sorry again, Sonar. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm ashamed. <laughs> I'm ashamed. Okay, thanks very much.